Peace to the family. So the first thing that I want to do is give a congratulations to all those people that paid for the mentorship program, the more expensive one, whereby one of the income streams was cryptocurrency. I want to salute you all who have made who have made a significant amount of money. However, I have to chastise some of you. And the reason why I have to chastise some of you is because you're deviating from the plan. Just because Bitcoin has went up thousands of dollars more in its worth or in its stock doesn't mean that you should necessarily sell and following what I'm teaching. I mean, it got you this far. But when you get this far and you start making your bread, don't deviate. So too many of my students, just the beginning, you got to really understand the mechanics. So what I realize is I'm incorporating more data into the mentorship plan for those who buy into the larger mentorship program so you can understand why suffice to hold okay <clears throat> you need to understand why suffice to hold yeah it's dope out here <clears throat> thanks to the family that showed up so we got to have a real technical class and really get into the matrix of what Bitcoin really is but it really deals with a set series of equations very complicated the way the coins actually get created it's the wave of the future PayPal will be no more Stripe will be no more Western Union will be no more it's a fact it's an absolute fact uh, many of you could say oh man well polite you just you made your money off of Bitcoin but you ain't really teach the people well that's a lot because anybody that paid for my higher price mentorship programs they'll be the first ones to tell you that one of their income streams was Bitcoin <clears throat> and or other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum okay and there's a reason why we pick the ones that we pick in the first place so you got to bear that in mind again there's a reason why we pick the ones we pick in the first place so the series of mathematics that it entails or the type of equations that it entails in order to create bitcoins there's a bunch of competitors that's working against each other to create these coins <clears throat> but in order to create these coins you need like massive amounts of computers to solve these equations in order to create this type of cryptocurrency so for that reason long story short there's something called a proof of work <clears throat> and this proof of work is the mathematics that it entails to make the evaluations in order to formulate a coin and that process in itself is called mining from the proof of work all right and therefore there's only 3500 coins that can be made a day only 3500 and it's presently about 16 million 20 million tops in coins to date bitcoins okay and every four years every four years <clears throat> okay there's a significant deduction or I say about half the amount that's already that they're able to produce on a daily level <clears throat> will be able to be produced okay so we talking four years from now you're talking half the amount that's produced daily four years from now and every four years it's just going to get lower and lower by about half about about 50 percent what does this tell you <clears throat> if these are all facts which they are then what this would tell me to tell you all is to buy and hold not sell sell if you got if you know i know the money looks good you damn near some of you that's been walking with me with this program you damn near making eight thousand dollars on each share that you spent when it was less than two bands when it was less than two thousand dollars so i get it i got a i got a uh brother named mel who made over a hundred thousand made over a hundred grand off the bitcoin but he literally made a hundred grand because he made the money he took it out <laughs> he made the money and he took it out and now I'm like, yo, don't do that. And now he has to buy them back for way more.
than he ever had the bottom four. And that's hustling backwards. So now he's taken out of the $100,000 to purchase more of these coins for a value way higher than what he had to buy it in the first place. And he's not the only one that, that did this, that realized, oh man, but I said, man, you got, you got my contact, you got my number, you got my email. Send a message, man. Send a message. And those of you that are in the cryptocurrency part of the program for my mentorship, you know we got a private line just for that alone. So that doesn't even make sense. So I'm like, I'm just doing this live just to let y'all know, calm down. <clears throat> You're making the money, that's dope. That's real dope. But calm down, and what we're gonna do, maybe we can have a session with all of, the, all of my mentees, and we can stream it in such a way that we can all get the build on at the same time. Because I see there's still some nuances, and this is relatively new information relatively new stocks and bonds ain't new but we haven't been blessed to be in an era to be able to make this type of money in real time off the market in a long time so i know the excitement is like yo people making this much money overnight and guess what it's going to go up higher because like i told you understand how it evolves you can't make more than 3500 of these coins a day and every four years, the daily amount <clears throat> that can be produced will be cut in half. And it's only, we're only at 16 million coins. So this means people who own the coins are going to be the ones making the sales. The owners are going to make the sales. Because you can only, there's only 3,500 that can be produced a day. It's clear that people who know that this is worthwhile, who got the money, they're going to be buying these coins up. So the only other way you're going to get these coins outside of the 3,500 coins that can be produced today, that that number is going to be cut down in half every four years, is to buy it from people who actually own the coins. <coughs> you understand? And if you're a holder, man, you can make more than the market price for the coins for someone who understands the projections. So hold the dang coins, man. I don't, I'm on a linguistic fast almost cursed hold the coins hold it don't sell hold it you know your life on the line sell a little something or at least get the money back that you invested initially but other than that hold them because it's that that's the technical aspect that no one's going to tell you i wanted to make this clear and concise i wanted to go at this in real time as possible and those are the facts of the matter, <clears throat> okay? So we gotta have a, a class on proof of work. We gotta have a class on mining in retrospect to proof of work so we can understand the mathematics or the geometry that is the Bitcoin. And then we gotta take into consideration the 3,500 coins that can only be made a day in respect to the every four year mark, half that amount can only be produced a day. And where does that put the owners of the coins in respect to the market? <clears throat> Think about it. <clears throat> Think about it, family. Okay. Come on, man. <clears throat> So when I did when I started this mentorship program, the bitcoins was less than a thousand dollars. So those of you that that got in when I first started, and then I pushed it in the program, got a lot more popular. By the time it got real popular, and I had more time to commit to servicing individuals, it still was less than two grand. Less than two grand, and I and for people that was in the mentorship, and I said, yo, don't worry about it throw two four over here if you're doing the bigger mentorship package they said i trust you brother but i said but this we're going to make money off the other income streams but this is where we got to go because i'm telling you analytically there's no way you're going to lose analytically analytically we're not in a space for it to lose yet we haven't even met its apex it could be around 10 grand now it doesn't matter we're not even at its apex because the excitement around bitcoin right now and the production only 
the production can't exceed 3,500 coins a day. You need to get a hold of them coins. This is like if we was if we was in a third world country right now and somebody was walking around in the hood with some <clears throat> what's one of the people like people like Popeye's chicken. Let's say we had some Popeye's chicken and some biscuits, and you in a third world country with people's stomach touching their back, and you the only one walking around with those biscuits. Well, you probably get killed for it, but. If there was some kind of access to it, the wealthy amongst that land is going to be like, I'm going to buy that. It's, a, it's rare and it's exclusive, and it's the only one of its kind for the most part. Well, every day, every day, <clears throat> think about it, every day, only 3,500 more gets produced. Every day, you're dealing with that rarity. Every day, you're dealing with that exclusivity. So every day, there's the opportunity to make that much more than the going rate for what it's being sold for on the market <clears throat> and there's a way around it it's levels to this man or every day you can sell it for less than the going rate for bitcoins on the market and still make you a sizable amount of money that's providing if you already had shares of it but then you may say what would be the sense in that and that's why you got to come to the mentorship Then you could buy them at a fraction. Like this, there's no excuse. There's no excuse. But this is for the people that's in the mentorship program. And there, and some may say, man, well, how come you ain't do a bunch of live feeds on that? I do live streams on a lot of free advice. And all people do is speculate. Oh, I don't know. That don't work. I give you the information. You can always look it up. So I say, you know what? I'm going to go back into the metaphysics. And the people I'm mentoring, I give them the economics. We do it like that. Because our people, they love to speculate, but they don't like to research. They love to speculate, but they don't like to research. <clears throat> and that's the issue. But I want to congratulate everybody. Just don't be thirsty, man. <laughs> don't be thirsty. I want to congratulate everybody who experienced tremendous success. And we do have the testimonial videos, but... The reason why I don't put them out much, like some of you may, if you go on my Facebook or you go on my Instagram, brother underscore polite, you'll see testimonials here and there, particularly for my rental properties, for people I help move into rental properties and everything. It's dope. You know, people who is living hard, join my mentorship program, <clears throat> and then not only make monies, but I also give them a place to live. All you got to do is look down the timeline. You'll see the testimonials. I do testimonials, but I don't like to do them much because dang if you do, dang if you don't. Not cursing. But I'm going to find a better, <laughs> a better verbiage to express that. But ultimately, you give them testimonials, they say these people are actors. You give them no testimonials, they say how come nobody's succeeding? So I don't like the energy around it a lot of times. <clears throat> Just succeed and do you. You know, you know my thing, for those of you that I mentor. When you make your money, to send brother polite a little PC. You know how I do. That's how you think me. You know, Mr. 100 Band Guy. Yo, you know, just shoot me a little 3, 4 Gs. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? 5% ain't bad. But I'm with it. Like, I hope you make that bread. Send me <coughs> Man, I don't know when this thing cut. Good thing I turned around. But... You know, it's all love. And you know, for those people that I mentor, the re I, I'm not too into the, the uh, I don't know if y'all caught that part, the testimonial aspect of things, because when I do the testimonials, they say these people gotta be acting. The story sound too intense, because of course I'm gonna put up the best test testimonial. Every testimonial is a good testimonial, but some people's testimonial, you know, people write out. They not, everybody ain't, isn't good at being on video. So some people want to write out their thoughts so it could come out good. And I'm like, yo, give me something in 60 seconds. And so some people will write it out. I'm like, man, I couldn't post that because people are going to say you're reading. And they're going to say that's fake. Polite wrote that. Then other people, it sounds so emotional. People are like, man, those people are actors. You know, Polite is in Hollywood. But if you go down my timeline, <laughs> you will clearly see that I have testimonials there. I take what I believe to be some of the best or just people that I really have a good connection with where I'm like, man, it meant a lot to them for me to post it. I put it up. 
But idealistically, you know how you help Brother Polite when you eat. Throw me a little five percent if you get a significant sum of money or a little something. That's how that's how I do it. That's what I tell everybody. Yo, when you make your money and you make a substantial amount, throw me a little something under the table. We from the hood, man. Throw me a little something. It's only right. I don't need it. Never satisfied. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? There it is now. <clears throat> About to deal with a brother I have mentor now. Good brother here. <laughs> What's up? I'm on live, King. What's good, man? How you doing? Here to get some of this good knowledge. I hear that. Mentorship. I hear that. Invest in you. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm about to finish up. Do, or start up. Continue with the mentorship. But remember, y'all, take it easy, man. You made that bread. Don't go nuts, man. Don't go nuts. A lot of my students made a lot of money off the Bitcoin, but they selling and taking the money and going in they should be holding it <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i'm just breaking down why you should hold it and or buy not sell at this particular moment gotcha you know i mean keeping my eyes on it it's a wrap man it's, it's crazy it's but, up and down up and down yeah that's how every stock is but sometimes they they manipulate the fluctuations or the algorithms of uh certain stocks you know somebody will come out and put out a report just to sway people's judgment to devalue it so their company can buy in Right. Then the price go back up. You know, they manipulate the algorithms quite often. It's just a report this morning, since you spoke on that. That's a fact. <clears throat> there we go, says no to Bitcoin. Vanguard's Jack Bogey says no to Bitcoin. Yeah, they'll do something like that while everyone's making money. Then people will be like, sell. And guess who's buying it all up? The same one who got the influence to tell you leave it alone. <laughs> you, know you gotta do this based on mathematics. You can't do this based on hearsay and speculation. You know, so that's why I was telling them about some of the, the mathematical consistencies of Bitcoin so you can know how to uh, move in a game. But yeah, brother P O L I J T 45 at gmail.com. You know, I stopped doing the mentorship, but few more slots open again you know I cleared out a lot of the work so that's what I do I make sure I clear out the work and I can understand my program but because I'm the one that's dealing with people immediately so I have to make sure that I can comply and commit to the time that's necessary for me to deal with them so anyway <clears throat> you're interested reach out see if you could come in in real time because again I'm not going to be able to do this for too long and the times that I do do it, it has to be So, I'll talk to y'all. <clears throat> so, I'll talk to y'all. Brother, P-O-L-I-G-H-T 45 at gmail.com. Brother, P-O-L-I-G-H-T 45 at gmail.com. Peace and love. You're much appreciated. Let's get it in.